In the wake of the Batman's disappearance, Gotham has been thrust into an unprecedented era of turmoil. Some believe the masked vigilante to be a hero, a protector. Others have called him a criminal or a sociopath that has taken the law into his own hands. The new mayor believes that he can clean up Gotham's streets without the help of mass vigilantes or costumed heroes. I'm Janine Vanderbilt, and my guest tonight is Professor of Criminology at Gotham State University and Mayor Ross, Social Justice Advisor, Dr. Matthias Crofthammer. Thank you for having me. Dr. Crofthammer, after all the glowing promises from the mayoral office, we have yet to see a significant downturn of the violent crime on Gotham streets. Why? Well, Janine, Gotham is like a beautiful garden infested with parasites, and you can't get nourishment to your rose bush until the parasites are gone. Now, the mayor's first priority is to clean up the streets, allow the city to flourish. And in certain areas, especially in the Narrows, we have seen a downturn in violent crime. In the last three months, what we've seen is the disappearance and deaths of hundreds of homeless and needy people. Some even believe the mayor's office may have something to do with that. Would you call the murder of hundreds <coughs> of people cleaning up the streets? As promised. Thanks for the help last week. About time. Thanks. Conspiracy theories. Every single one of those deaths has been found to be from natural causes or pre-existing medical conditions. But there is real measurable progress in the Narrows. Just this quarter, we've had fewer reports of lootings and robberies than we've had in the past decade. That's because it's becoming a ghost town. How is that progress? How do you even explain that? It's Gotham. People die. Is that all you got? 
What are you gonna do? I'm gonna find out where these guys are coming from. Probably shoot them. They called themselves the Red Hood Gang? That'd be funny if it weren't so insulting. Eyes and ears open for me, Craig. You got it, Hood. Somebody your own size. We're done with her. You picked the wrong night to be on patrol. Come on. 
He's got moves. I'm just warming up. Other than that. Finally. Todd? What are you doing here? You're in my house, Chief. You actually got your butt handed to you. I find that hard to believe. You would. Is she okay? She got away, if that's what you mean. Good. What are you making? Grilled cheese. American or cheddar? Swiss. Nice. Alfred told me it was your favorite. Leave it to Pennyworth. Where's my suit? It's hanging up in the other room. Oh, man. You're not having one? With this body? No. Can't say I wouldn't want one, though. So... How are you doing with this whole Bruce disappearing thing? What is that? Sympathy? I guess. Fine. I have plenty of other allies. Yeah, I thought you might say that. And you? You tried to kill my father in the past. There's water under the bridge. <sighs> this is your place? Yeah? What a dump. Shut up. Let's get your stuff. I'll take you home. Back to the Palisades? That's where you live, isn't it? Well, uh, I'm sure you're tired from fighting those thugs. Um, if it's too much trouble, I'm sure Pennyworth can pick me up in the morning. It's like a 25 minute drive, it's fine. I'm just saying, you may want to rest your weak muscles. Weak? Well, you're not exactly... Damien, do you want to stay here? Is that what this is? Don't be absurd. I'm merely putting out the most economical way of doing this. Right. Well, thanks for looking out for me. Shouldn't help. I mean, 
Look at this place. Fine. Fine. But you stay on the couch. I have a one-person bed, and I'm the person. You got it? Negotiable. No. Deal. And, all right, some ground rules. Stay in your area, don't touch anything, and my gear, off limits. Non-negotiable. And seriously, don't be sneaking out at night, man. I don't need to be chasing after you. Understood. It's not like there's anything to break. There's nothing of value. Ah. Good night. You can have that if you really want it. What makes you think that I want it? Don't take it, you little brat. Thank you for saving me earlier. It's fine. I'm sorry I came down here without your permission. Thank you and an apology? You sure you don't have a concussion? I know that I've been difficult. Is that what you call it? What do you call it? Egotistical, maniacal, self-obsessed. Do I have to keep going? All right, man. Difficult is fine. Jeez. I was raised in the League of Assassins. My grandfather was not an empathetic man. When I was disobedient, I was beaten. He said it was to make me stronger. To purge my emotions. I guess when I came here, when I became Robin, I was missing something you all had. Empathy? A soul. Damien. My father was very careful with me. He was different from my mother and grandfather from the League. But now my father is gone. What's left for me now? You know, Damien, your dad once told me that to be a criminal, to murder somebody, is, it's easy. Anybody can do that. It's doing the opposite. It's the hard part. That's why I think we understand each other. I know you haven't always been my biggest champion, but we're the same. We're the same. Killers. Wayne's. What is it to be a Wayne? To be a hero, to be a light in the darkness, to be a protector of Gotham City, I don't know. In the blackness of night, that's when the demons emerge. He told me that even the darkest nights end with a rising sun. I guess being a hero means being a light in the darkness until the sun comes. Wow, man. You're super dark. <laughs> he showed me. He showed me that my value was not tied to what I could achieve. Or what a great ruler I would become. But that my value was found in being his. I was his son. And I became his Robin. That was enough. I don't deserve to be the son of the Batman. I don't think any of us deserve to be that. I mean... But at the same time, that's who we are. 
That's who he made us to be. I know it would be childish, but... One word of this to anyone, and I'll have your head on a platter. Whatever you say, kid. Let's get some sleep. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. ran like I was supposed to. Your men hurt me. You said they wouldn't touch me. Whatever they did to you will be done to them. Tenfold. Tell me about the boy. He came and tried to save me. Your men nearly killed him. But they didn't. No. Some guy in a red mask came. And he took the boy? Yes. He did. Excuse me, Mr. Mask. The hatchet is in place. We have the other one. And the signal? It's almost complete. Good. Wipe her memory. Put her back on the streets. What are you doing? God, please don't kill me. We're not gonna hurt you, kid. As long as you play nice. I don't know anything, man. I swear. You no, know you work for Black Mask. No, I've I've never seen him before or nothing, man. He's lying. Just let me go, man. I swear I won't tell anybody. Tell them what? You don't know anything. Well, you're Robin, right? And your, uh, your... Choose your next words very carefully. Uh... Yes? Your, your, uh... You better not say it or there will be blood. Oh yeah, your Nightwing. <laughs> uh, every single time. <laughs> Gives the information. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got you like a Maldavian bear. Okay, Gizmo, take it easy. Your techniques are friendly and ineffective. We don't torture Robin. We persuade. Then let's persuade him. Hey, get over here. No. Sit. Look, kid, just tell us what we want to know. Why were you out there? It, it was a drop. It was just a drop, man, that's all. A drop? Why would Black Mask hire an outside person just to do a drop? I just needed the money, th and... Right, fine. Who was the drop for? Crane. It was Crane, man. Crane. Scarecrow. That's how the drug was so effective. Unless BM became a chemist overnight. Robin, Black Mask isn't someone to be trifled with. But on the other hand, He's not exactly winning any science awards anytime soon. So spill it, kid. What's really going on here? Oh man, I can't tell you that. He's gonna kill me. Yeah, probably. 
Tell us anyway. I, I don't know. I was just... I just needed the money, so they hired me for the drop and a thing for you. A thing for me? What? Here, it's in my right front pocket. <sighs> All right, kid. Now, if I reach in here, I'm not gonna find a fresh Tootsie Roll in here or anything, am I? What? No. I don't get it. You said you're not Nightwing, so I'm assuming you're that red guy. He still doesn't know who I am. So what? He has a clue. Everybody knows who you are. We need to get over this. I guess it's your lucky day, punk. It's not coming back, you know. Batman. He's dead. Keep it up and you'll join him. You're wasting your time, you know. Jason, I heard you were back. Well, you heard right. What do you want? A rematch? Kid, as I recall it, the last time we did that, I pretty much wipe the floor with you, so whatever training you think you're doing, it's not gonna help. Don't do it. Too late. Where were you? Oh, you know, after the whole Joker thing, I just had to get out of Gotham and clear my head a little bit. Why? Did you miss me? The old man did. Go! Come on! What? What's the matter? Come on! Okay, come on! Upgrades. We needed you! Yeah, somehow, Timmy. I doubt that is true! Alright, that's enough. So when do you leave for Jump City? Tomorrow. The Titans. I can't believe you're actually joining them. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm dumb and unqualified. Mm, if anything, kid, you're probably overqualified for those goofballs. I gave you a compliment, so what? I'll get used to it. I don't have to go, you know. No. You probably do. Frankly, that team could use a nerdy goofball like you. What's one more? <laughs> Be safe. I will. Nobody gets to kill you but me. We'll see about that. Have fun. Does it really matter? You didn't kill him, did you? I let him go. Good man. It's strike, right? I thought it was for the Titans. You must have heard about what was going on. I'm not about to give Drake credit for anything, but how could Black Mask capture him? He can't even beat you. I'm gonna go after him. Let's go. You're gonna stay here on patrol. What? No, Jake, this is, probably, this is probably a trap. You need me for this. I know it's a trap. That's why I need you here. I need you on patrol. But... If something goes wrong, I need to know you're out there. But... I... Wait. Are you... asking me to save you? What? If it comes down to it, Damien, someone has to be there. Tim's not here. I, I mean, nobody knows where Dick is, so you're it. It's not the A plan, but it's A plan. But if something happens, yes. Okay. You're doing good, kid. If anybody's gonna save me, it's probably going to be you anyway. You think that's where Drake is? Drugs going. Well, you're looking more like the old man every day. Whoa! I had this. I don't need you. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> so, I see you've got your new big boy pants on. Well, yeah. Upgrades. <laughs> what are you doing here? What? I live here. What are you doing here? Following up a drug ring from Jump City. I think it might be connected to the Hive. <sighs> hive. I hate those guys. You hear Deathstroke was back in Bloodhaven? I'm sure they can handle it. You know, you better stop playing around. With Dick gone, someone will have to take up the cowl. Please. Do I really look like the next Batman to you? The old man's not going to be around forever. And with the new kid around, someone will have to take his place. 
You're really not gonna let this go. Me, Batman. Now that'd be something. Somebody's gotta do it. Jason? What are you doing here? We abandoned this place two years ago. How was I supposed to know? Hey, don't get smart with me, wise guy. I'm here to hey, save what? you. Now, who's this now? He calls himself the Hatchet. I am the Hatchet. Yeah, thanks, buddy. We got to Take it easy. Hey, be careful. He's not your ordinary goon. I mean, he got the jump on me. Yeah, let's not act like that's impressive. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Have you? Because... I literally heard about you like 13 seconds ago, so you couldn't have been waiting too long. You see this guy? No, no, it's it's hardly noticeable. A little extensive plastic surgery, you'll be fine. You did this to me. Okay. Bet you don't remember. Were you a criminal? Well, yeah. Then, one, I don't remember, and two, even if I did, I wouldn't feel bad about it. Thanks for coming out. Great to see you again. Good luck with the face. Those things are sharp! Yeah, I noticed. What's the matter, buddy? You had so much fire before. You're infuriating. Yeah, I know. It's part of my charm. This guy's getting on my nerves. He's coming back. What is it with this guy? I'm gonna kill you, Red Hood! Distance now. Come on. You all right? Good. How you doing, buddy? You okay? <laughs> Tell us everything. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anything. Okay. 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 It's the Black Mask. He told me if I kill you, I get your territory. You... You get my territory. 
Really? Wow. Well, you can tell Black Mask that my territory is all of Gotham City. <laughs> Is that funny? <sighs> Looks like you can tell him yourself. <sighs> tell me what? <laughs> well done, Clarence. <laughs> Clarence? Oh, crap! I knew you couldn't finish them off. Now that we're all on the same page... Let's have a little chat. What the...? What is this? I am Matthias Crofthammer, Regent of the Court of Owls. Okay, fine. You're from the Court of Owls, so what? We killed the Batman. What chance do you mere wards think that you have? <laughs> I should have known you weren't really Roman. Even he isn't this sloppy. Well, it got you here, didn't it? Yeah, well, a cake can give you to a kid's birthday party, but that doesn't mean I'll enjoy it. What? What? What are you doing, kid? He's in control, I think. you know who I am? We need to stop him. No. I can take care of myself. Was my father scared? No. Was he shaking like you are now? No. Because my father was more than you'll ever be. The Court of Owls, Joker, Two-Face, Cobblepot. It doesn't matter who you think you are. We are the Robins. And we will bring you and all others to justice. Lovely speech, child. Unfortunately for you, we came prepared. Damien! I can take care of my wound, Furman. Don't, don't move it. <laughs> Tim, you TV up.
think you're fine. I'm not as easily beaten. 